In this video we're going to look at changing the subject of some slightly more advanced questions. Before watching this video I'd highly recommend you watch the video on changing the subject on corbettmaths.com. So, make d the subject of a equals a quarter pi d squared. Now in a question like this, because we've got the fraction, less times through by 4 to get rid of the quarter. So if you've got a fraction, choose a suitable number to multiply through by. Remember we want to make d the subject, so we want to get rid of the quarter, the pi and the squared on this side just to leave the d. So, let's times through by 4, and if we multiply both sides by 4, the left hand side would become 4a, and the right hand side, a quarter times 4 is 1, so we'll be left with pi d squared. Now, we want to get d on its own, so we want to get rid of the pi, and we want to get rid of the squared. So let's divide both sides by pi. So divide by pi, and divide by pi. We're dividing by pi because this is pi times d squared. So we've got to the inverse to both sides. 4a divided by pi, well that's 4a over pi, equals, and we divide it by pi to get rid of the pi, so we're just going to be left with d squared. Now we want to get rid of the squared, so we're going to do the opposite to both sides, so that's the square root. So the answer would be the square root of 4a over pi equals d. And let's just turn that, turn that around to write d equals the square root of 4a over pi. So that's it. So if you've got a question with a fraction, it sometimes is useful to choose a suitable number to multiply through by. Next, make d the subject of 4 bracket d plus y equals 2 bracket d minus y. So let's multiply through by, uh, multiply, expand out the brackets. So 4 times d is 4d plus 4 times y is 4y. The right hand side, 2 times d is 2d and 2 times minus y would be minus 2y. Now we want to make d the subject. That means we want to get all the d's to one side and all the y's to the other. Now, if you look at this, the lowest number of d's is 2d, so let's take away 2d's from both sides. So take away 2d, take away 2d. So that's going to give you uh, 2d, 4d take away 2d is 2d, plus 4y equals 2d take away 2d is 0, so we're left with minus 2y. Now we want to make d the subject, that means we want to get d on its own. So let's get rid of the plus 4y, so let's take away 4y from both sides. So that's going to leave you on the left hand side, 2d. 4y take away 4y is 0, and that equals minus 2y take away 4y, well minus 2 take away 4 would be minus 6y. And so we're nearly finished, we want to make d the subject, so we want d on its own, we don't want to multiply by 2, so let's divide by 2. So you're going to get d equals, d equals minus 3y. And that's it, so we've made d the subject. Let's have a look at another um, example. Make x the subject of ax plus b equals cx plus d. To make an x a subject means we want to bring all the x's to one side, everything else to the other side, and then we want to get x on its own. So, we've got ax plus b, and we've got cx plus d. Let's bring all the x's to the left hand side, so let's get rid of this cx by taking away cx from both sides. The left hand side would become then ax plus b, and then take away cx. The right hand side would just become d. Now, we want to get x on its own, so let's get rid of this plus b. So let's take away b from both sides of the equation. The left hand side then would become ax subtract cx. The right hand side would become d subtract b. We're nearly finished, we want to get x on its own. But we've got the a and the c here. So if you've got something like this, it can be useful to factorise. So let's factorise this, x bracket a minus c. All I've done there is take x out as the common factor and I'll be left with a minus c. And that equals d subtract b. And finally, I want x on its own. This is x times a, c, a minus c. So this is x times a minus c. Well, I want to get rid of this a minus c, so let's divide both sides by a minus c. Divide by a minus c. So the left hand side, I'm just going to go up here now. The left hand side would become, well, x times uh, a minus c divided by a minus c. I'm doing it to get rid of it, so just left with x. The right hand side, d minus b, but I'm going to divide it by, so divide it by a minus c. And that's it. So I've made x a subject. And our last example. This time we've got 4x plus c divided by a minus 3x equals 2. In a question like this, I want to make x a subject, and I've got a problem here. I've got x on the numerator and x on the denominator. So let's first of all get rid of this divide by a minus 3x. Let's bring it up to the top. Now because this is divided by a minus 3x, let's times both sides by a minus 3x. That just means it'll be something a lot easier to deal with. 
Let's see what would happen. So we're dividing by n minus 3x. Well, if you times by n minus 3x, you're just going to be left with the top line, which is 4x plus c. The right hand side, well, 2 times n minus 3x. Well, just write it as 2. And whenever you times it by this, let's just put it in brackets, a minus 3x, like so. Let's multiply out our brackets. So we're going to have 4x plus c equals 2a minus 6x. I want to make x a subject, so I want to get all the x's to one side and everything else to the other side. Now, as you'll notice here, I've got the lowest number of x's. Well, I've got 4x and minus 6x, but well, the lowest is minus 6x, lowest. So let's do the opposite. So let's add 6x to both sides. So adding 6x to both sides would give me on the left hand side 10x plus c. On the right hand side, it would leave me with 2a. Now, I want to get x on its own, so let's get rid of the plus c. So that's going to be take away c from both sides. So take away c, take away c would leave me 10x equals 2a minus c. And finally, I'm just going to go back up here. So I have got 10x equals 2a minus c. I want to get x on its own. This is 10 times x. So let's divide both sides by 10. So dividing both sides by 10 would leave you of x equals 2a minus c all divided by 10. And that's it. So that's how you uh, change the subject for some of slightly more advanced questions. You may get uh, different types of ones in the exams, but it's just following those types of techniques um, to do it. And that's it.